Hi guys, hope you all learnt about relational notation in our previous video. So let's learn about the next most interesting and important topic in software engineering that is state oriented notation. So if you guys missed out our previous video, the link is given in the description box. Please do check out our video and get benefited. So without any delay, let's move on to the next most interesting and important topic that is state oriented notation. First let's see what does state oriented notation means. The state of a system is the information required to summarize the status of the system entities. So that is nothing but using the current state and the current stimuli the next state can be determined. So let's see some examples of state oriented notations. They are decision tables, event tables, transition tables, finite state mechanism and petri nets. So let's discuss them one by one in a detailed manner. So first let's see the first example decision tables. Decision tables are widely used in data processing applications. The decision table is segmented into four quadrants. They are condition state, condition entry, action step and action entry. The condition step contains all the conditions being examined. So the condition entries are used to combine condition into decision rules. The action step describes the actions to be taken in response to decision rules. So the actions are contractory. So it permits specification of non-deterministic and concurrent actions. So here the specified table is an example for decision tables. The table specifies the decision rules and decision entries. If more than one decision rule has an identical entries then the table is said to be ambiguous. So if you see in this table rule 3 and rule 4 has more than one decision rules. So in this table rule 3 and rule 4 are said to be ambiguous. The specified n combinations which has n condition entries. So let's move on to the next example that is event tables. Event tables specify actions to be taken when events occurs under different state of conditions. They relate actions to system conditions. So here you can see the example for event tables. The table specifies the modes and events that are occurs. So the event tables are viewed as two dimensional tables or of higher dimensions. Next let's see about transition tables. Transition tables are used to specify changes in the state of a system as a function of driving forces. It specifies the changes in the state of a system as a function of the next state. So here the specified table illustrates the format of a simple transition table given current state S1 and the current input B. The system will go to the next state S0. So the transition diagram or alternative representation of transition table. Transition diagrams and transition tables are representation of finite state automata. So the decision tables, event tables and transition tables are notations for specifying actions as functions of a condition that initiate those actions. So let's see the next example that is finite state mechanism. So in finite state mechanism, data flow diagram, regular expression and transition tables can be combined to provide a powerful finite state mechanism for functional specification of software system. It utilizes data flow diagrams in which the data streams are specified using regular expression and the actions in the processing nodes are specified using transition labels. So till this example, I hope you are clear. So next. Let's move on to the last example that is PetriNet. PetriNet also known as Place Transition Net is one of several mathematical modeling languages for the description of distributed systems. It is the class of discrete event and dynamic system. It has two types of elements they are places and transitions depicted as white circles and rectangles respectively. 
A place can contain any number of tokens depicted as black circles and the transition is enabled if all places connected to it as an input contains at least one token. So here the specified example is an PetriNet trajectory. PetriNet contains number of marks called tokens. So thus these were in short and brief note about state oriented notations. Hope you all clear about the explanation over state oriented notation. This brief survey of relational and state oriented notation is not exhaustive. Many similar notations are routinely used to specify functional requirements of software products. Our upcoming videos are tuning on the way. Until then stay tuned in PS4 Software Chasers changes your future. Thank you.